Judith Blacklock and I've got a flower school in London. I've written 11 best-selling books. I'm the editor of a wonderful magazine called The Flower Ranger. I believe I can teach anyone. All you need is a love, a passion for flowers, and I can teach you the rest. I'm going to show you now how to create a lovely arrangement of flowers in a fishbowl vase. It's very simple, easy to do, and because they're in their own little greenhouse, the flowers actually last even longer. The trend at the moment is to actually have the flowers inside rather than outside, but of course you can do that as well. But this idea is using Santa Desia, otherwise known as the Calla Lily. And I'm going to show you an alternative by adding a little of this flexigrass. Flexigrass you can buy from the florist very easily, and it is circular in structure, so it doesn't cut your hands as bear grass can which is another grass that looks good in design work. So first of all, I take my clean fish bowl and I pour clean water into the fish bowl. And then I take my Zandadesia, my Calla, which has been a very, very fashionable, popular flower for some time. I allow the stem to be in water and let it bend and move lots of rhythm in this design. And you can do something like this with as few as five stems. This is a large fish bowl, and of course it doesn't need to be this size. If the stem, as this is done, it is broken slightly, it's bendy, no problem at all. I'm going to keep that back and add that at the end, and if we will see how it can be used to advantage. So gently place in, very few of them will actually crease like that, but take them through like that. I quite like one just breaking the rim of the container and it can be seen like this. So again, this is an arrangement that can be made in seconds. That one's my bent one, so I'll put that away. Get rid of those stems. And I have got 10 stems here, that's all you need. What else could you do this with? You could do it beautifully with tulips. Another good flower is Chinchirinchi on its allegolum, which is otherwise known as Star of Bethlehem. Again, it's got that really gorgeous bendy stem and works like a dream in this sort of design. But today we're using a lovely um, Color called mango. There, place. And I'm going to take this last one that has got the broken stem, just cut it short and place it there, and using the crossing of the stems to support the flower. Now, if you wanted to, with the flexigrass, you could just add a different dimension by pulling it or turning it into a circle and gently angling it into the bowl so that you've got an extra dimension to the design. So the choice is yours. You can either use the grass or just leave them. One last alternative is to use aluminium wire which would again give another dimension. So this I would place in the centre of my table. It can be seen and admired from all directions and perhaps I could just trim that off as a final touch and hope that none drop actually into the bowl itself so that you've got an easy design that will last you a week.